Just taking a selfie. Me. Like oh, I thought she got pulled yeah, over. But... <laughs> guys welcome back to Clearview driving my name is Ammon and today's driving lesson is with Erin now it's been about three weeks since our last lesson and last lesson we were talking about um, trying to again independent but trying to kind of keep moving not stopping and starting as much looking carefully and still being safe but not to kind of dwindle around yeah, yeah. so we're gonna be heading into a new area today so uh, that way you're not just kind of driving with what you know in terms of memory, with the location. You're kind of having to look at the road signs, road markings and things like that. And I will tell you whenever I need you to turn. So again, just doing everything nicely on your own. I'll remind you if there's anything that needs any help. Any questions before we get started? No. Okay. All right, if you guys enjoy watching these videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. If you are new, where have you been? Um, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> That's so annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> Forgot to turn it off. Sleep. Yeah, it'll be signs towards Richmond and Kew. He went through a red light. <gasps> Did you see the way yeah. he sped up through that? Okay, direction wise, let's suppose you stayed in that lane and you didn't realise what would you have just done from there? Straight. Yeah. You ready? Okay. You know what you're doing here? I have to wait, don't I? Mm. Yeah. Not even if they're turning right. As no. Well. Oh. Are you ready? After this guy, don't rush. Okay, we're gonna go after him. Come on in, you go. She tells me she's gonna wait and then goes into their <laughs> path to wait. <laughs> oh. So yeah, ima remember that imaginary line that runs through. You kind of yeah. go up along that line. Don't go across it. <laughs> Yeah. I know what you were thinking because the, the other lane they were turning, yeah. but then there's still that straight lane. Uh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what signs are we following? To Richmond. And Q. To Q. Mm -hmm. The third exit. Mm -hmm. You can actually use the left lane to go there because it's the main, the kind of the main exit that this road flows through the roundabout. The left one. Yeah. I know it's out. Oh my god. We can use the, the far left one, it will take you there, okay? Okay. So on the floor it will say A205. How 
Yeah. On the signboard where it said Richmond, it said 205 as well. Just listen out and look around. Where are they? Stop here. Stop here. Quickly. Stop. They're not behind us, are they? Okay, they're in the middle lane. Just wait as you are. There's nothing we can do right now. You okay? Yeah. All right, so as you go in, you see the traffic light where the red light is? Mm -hmm. Traffic light where the red light is. What am I saying? You see the traffic light? <laughs> We're going to be the left lane. Okay. Yeah. So he's just switched over. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you just go in here to start Because he's silly. Okay, now, as you're following your lane, just kind of, you see the white line? Yeah. Stay next to it, and then you can see 205 on the floor? Yeah. That's Richmond. So you see, although it was the left lane, it's still going round the roundabout because it's the main exit. Back to you doing it on your own again, it's just because I knew that roundabout was going to be a bit of a challenge. But you'll know the next time. Yeah. Look at the sign on the right hand side of the road. Did you see the sign? No. The yellow one? Yeah. Well, what does that tell them? That everyone has to go into this one. Yeah. So even though it's not on your side of the road, you want to notice that sign. Just check that right side. I don't know what this guy is trying to do. There's no more lane. <laughs> that was really silly of him. Don't get so close to the edge, by the way. Check your left mirror, you'll see exactly what I mean. Yeah. How much space would you say that is? Not very much. <laughs> like you don't even have to look at this mirror to see that space. If you just check the space on your side, you'll see yeah. that there's a lot more. And plus you can see more of that car, can't you? Yeah. Mm. So Richmond is towards the left here, where we are. You started off doing that really well and then you just let it... You're improving really nicely but then you sometimes... I know. You like that little bit back there. I was like, oh, yeah. she's doing really well. And she's like, yeah, I'll just, just cross over this white line. And listen to the car and look for the sign. That way. Yeah, Richmond. Oh, well, let's so what go do we, that way. Mirrors and signal and switch over lanes. You can you can go forward ahead. Go no, 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 it's here. Right. It's not just going to be a sudden turn into a side road for Richmond, is it? That just makes no sense. Okay, if you look at the road ahead, or if you use the sat nav, can you yeah. see the yellow line? Yeah. So that's the two directions. Because so that was a green background sign, wasn't it? No. Oh. Which means it's a major A road. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn left into this side road coming up. Quick question for you, did you check your mirrors to yeah. the left? I, I know, I saw you checking them just before you entered, so you saved yourself there. <laughs> but check them before you actually indicating in case there was a cyclist before. Okay. Alright, at the end of this road, let's turn right, please. Did 
This is your chance to get out of this road, by the way. Casually. Do you get why I said that? Yeah, because the boss is coming back. <laughs> yeah, and that meant the boss is holding back everyone behind yeah. him. And then the fact that nobody was coming from the right, we're going to slowly edge out. She's probably running for that bus, so we've just saved her. Yeah. A bus journey. <laughs> You're welcome, lady. <laughs> I hope she makes it. <laughs> oh, bless her. She's so she will make it because look, yeah. there you go. Erin saves the day. <laughs> okay, so um, we're no longer following any signs, okay? Alright, so we're going to take the second exit straight ahead. It's not even listed on the signboard as an exit. I don't know why, but there is an exit at 12 o'clock, okay? Where? Oh, oh, it's the big round. Yeah. You can see the road marking. Look at the road marking. Thank you. Oh my god. Don't rush, he's giving you way. What? No, okay, checking. not anymore. Nice and steady. Now, what mirror are we checking at this point? Think about what mirror. Thank you. Brilliant. Was that okay? No, you did that all nicely. Do you get why that why I said the mini was giving you way? No. There was a keep clear sign in front of him. No. So there was traffic where he was going. That was cheeky. Yeah, that was cheeky. Uh, oh my god. I'm straight. Into the trains. Mm. Change gear, by the way. Yeah. That was really nice controlling second gear, by the way. <laughs> Because look, you managed to move off on that gradient uphill. I always say uphill gradient. I don't just say one or the other. They both mean the same thing. It's like saying gradient. it's like saying Sahara Desert. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Nicely done there. Why is this lorry swinging to the right, but yeah. he's making a left turn? Anything. That's what happens when you're behind large vehicles. Alright, can we make a right turn in here? Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Not the right turn. Yeah, it's the other one. Okay. It's fine, don't worry. You and this love hate relationship that you have with lorries. I hate though, I don't love them at all. It's a hate hate relationship. <laughs> Well, what should we do when that's the case? And then from the road. Keep further back. <laughs> yeah? Oh. That makes sense. How am I actually meant to get through this? Well, think about it. Buses get through this road. turn yet. Check that left mirror before you turn in because then you'll see the car mm. and you can judge the distance a lot better. That was really good. So that first car we were a little close to so we needed to stay straight for a bit longer so go towards the island a bit more. So think of it as we're driving on this middle section and then when the van disappears from the front windscreen, only then, so braking at this moment, not yet, not yet. Erin, try not to clip your left side when you're doing that. So here, now that the car's parked, move into the middle early, drive in the middle and stay in the middle until the red car completely disappears and then move completely out. And if that parked car is really close to the island, you have to do what you did earlier, which is just brake a lot more. But the position in the road doesn't change. Okay, so you're going to show me how you move off on this slope? <laughs> you can do this. You know what you need to do with your feet. Good. And a little blind spot check as a fiber measure, okay? Was that okay? Turn right. 
I want to say this is a one way road at the end because this is very narrow. Just keep hold of the brake for now because she's going to try and cross behind. Yeah. Okay, now you have made a little error here. Can I tell you what it is? I should have kept going. You should have gone up to the end a bit further. Yeah. Nice and steady. Really well done there. That's really nice. Yeah, because when you get to that slightly higher bit, it's a bit flatter. Yeah. All right, which way to Kingston? Did you think the first car was going to go into the park? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure with the headlight. It looked like they might have been indicating. That's why I didn't say anything. All right, now this is downhill. Think about the uh, effect. Not that much braking. <laughs> Probably a little bit excessive. <laughs> relationship with this road. I hate this road. <laughs> don't move left, don't move left, don't move left. That's just all I kind of keep telling my learners on, on this road all the time. Because it looks really nice. I love looking at this road from that, um, you know when you're on the double-decker bus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so much nicer. I'm really happy with today's drive. I know um, there are bits that we could still work on a little bit, but it's a lot better. You're a lot more confident, which is nice. Oh, what's going on there? So there's traffic behind the police car. Just drive normally. The traffic that's behind the police car might try and get round at some point, but because we're close to the van, they won't. Focus on what you need to do, okay? It just looks like she's just taking a selfie. selfie. Like, it's, well, I thought she got pulled over. Yeah, but... same. <laughs> I thought that was going to be some pole now. <laughs> that was kind of funny, actually. Because <laughs> at first it just looked like she was just getting pulled over. Yeah. Oh, I hate We don't want to overtake. We don't want to say we hate cyclists there. Just keep your distance with them. If you're going to overtake, there's a small window here, you can overtake her. Check and move wide. Yeah, and move wide if you can, that's it. And then check to see where she is. That was the slowest cyclist. I She's doing her best, Erin, you've got to be nicer with cyclists, she can't be mean. Again with this oh, guy, we're no going to... Yeah, so good. Go. Again with this guy, we're going to maintain this, maintain a bit of distance if you're going to stay back. Uh. Stay to the right. If you want to overtake, the, the, the road ahead's clear, right? Yeah. You're getting too close to him, Erin. This is way too close. <laughs> Look, just, just move over and speed up. Just put your foot down. Like, I'm accelerate. I'm not both of them. You won't. You, you, can't, you can't be um, that close to cyclists, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, what should we do here? Right. Yeah, and then check the other side. Good. So we're going round to where the cyclist is, okay? That's where the road goes. Yay, cyclist. So now that we're on a one-way road, we can position on the left or the right lane, depending on where we need to go. We can continue. Change gear. <laughs> there we go. 
This is the bus stop that I get the bus from. Okay, so what we can do now then to deal with that bus? Uh, yeah. Mirrors? Yeah? Maybe even a signal to make it clear to pedestrians that you're going to go into this side of the road. Speed up a little more, but don't move left, okay? Check that mirror for the bus to see where he is. Signal to come back in, because we're going to continue ahead. So along this bit, I want you to be a bit more proactive. You can see what's going to happen, just... Don't wait for me. Um, oh my god. He has a child as well. But look, it's coming up to summertime. People will just be doing this and watch out for things like this. Okay, Erin. Now, till the end, no more hating on lorries and buses and vans and mopeds. And no getting close to cyclists and lorries. Yes, and buses. Yeah. Oh, there's a car loop too. Hmm. We're going to keep to the left-hand lane here, so we're going to go ahead at the roundabout, okay? Yeah. So you see how the cyclist went? Are we going to that? Yeah, that's the exact same path we're following what she's just done. That's why you're reaching for that. <laughs> when want you to start to change gears as you get here so that you're ready. Now she's been pretty quick so you got to make sure when you move off you're not slow. You. But stay on the right, okay? Oh Jesus. Just keep to your lane, and then she won't even be a concern. Keep an eye on her to see where she is. But don't move all the way to the left, okay? Keep your position to the right, Erin. What is that? That's her brakes. She needs to get them fixed. But I need you to make sure when you know she's dead, don't move back to the left so much, okay? Alright, so how was your drive today then? Alright, that's a bit scary. Okay, so it started off, I feel like you were being you were quite confident at the start because you knew all the roads. Yeah. And then as soon as you got to unfamiliar roads, like when we were the near... The countryside. Yeah, the country roads near Richmond. Uh, <laughs> when we got to those kind of roads there, yeah, yeah you, you were having a few clearance issues here and there because your like attention them. was going elsewhere. Yeah. Now, what have we talked about when it comes to cyclists, motorbikes, lorries, buses? To be nice to them. Yeah, and? Stay back. Stay them. back. Look for that right opportunity for when you can overtake like cyclists and motorbikes yeah. if need be, um, but don't get close in the meantime. Um, so in terms of uh, what we kind of started off discussing at the beginning, making sure that we're not stopping and starting as much, what are we going to do? Because we did practice that some more today. What do we talk about? Change gears as soon as... As yeah. soon as we're like literally yeah. there. So you're stopping in gear yeah. and now you're already looking. Yeah. So we're cutting down on that gap right at the mm. end. And I feel like we, you've started to do that a lot more. You were doing that right from the beginning actually, so that wasn't really too concerning. Um, anything you want to add into that? No. Okay. 
All right, so, so next lesson, I have got a bit of a challenge. Shall I tell you what it is or tell you next lesson? Tell me now. Okay, um. so I'm thinking um, of doing it, not, let's not say mock test, but independent drive where you're going to have the sat nav preset with a route okay. and marked to a destination. And then the sat nav's yeah. going to direct you to go left, right and whatever. Throughout that, I am not saying anything. Whether you make a mistake, whether you stall, whether you go the wrong way. What if I crash? Well, you deal with you won't crash, but you deal with it on your own. Okay. Yeah? yeah? You know how to drive. Yeah. It's just that little fear, you know when you, you feel like you made a mistake? Yeah. You've got to be able to manage yeah. that on your own, because at the end of the day, when you're either on your test or you're driving on your own, you yeah. won't have me with you and you're not going to have anyone with you. And it's just been able to deal with that, thinking, okay, you know what, I have gone the wrong way, I'm yeah. still driving, the sat nav's saying this, wait, what do I do? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully that video has been useful for you guys and you've learned something along the way. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and that is it. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, bye.